Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you're new. And today I'm gonna to be doing a color with me, a speed color in this book, Go Slow, a snail coloring book by Jen Racine. And I'm gonna be using my Ohuhu alcohol markers along with pencils on top. And it's a great combo. I hope you enjoy it. And let's get started. Okay, we're getting started here with a dark blue in the center. And I'm going to create a gradient um, going lighter towards the outside of the picture. So gradually lighter and lighter blues. And these are the Ohuhu Honolulu uh, series markers, alcohol markers, which I absolutely love. And um, I don't have all, you know, the entire huge set. I have a couple of small sets, but um, I make do with what I have. And now I'm doing a lighter blue. Later on, I'm going to go with some pencil to kind of smooth in, smooth the border of each color. You're going to see that later on. But uh, right here, I'm starting on the grass. So I'm doing a dark... Uh, green on the bottom and gradually uh, going upwards towards lighter and lighter greens for the grass. And I will smooth that out later also with pencil, uh, the borders of the colors. Now I'm doing a little bit of pencil work uh, to, like I said, smooth out the border. Um, these particular pencils are my Koinor Polycolors. But I also use later on in the video um, my Karen Dash Super Colors. So I'm um, using some lighter blues. And now I'm taking one of my Super Colors. They're on my desk, the Karen Dash. And I like adding a little cream always to my sky. I don't know why I like doing that, but something that I like to do. And I'm adding a little bit of a transition at the top of the grass with some paints, uh, my Inktense paints. Um, right now I'm starting on the mushrooms. And I have, you'll see I go, I go uh, in this, usually I go lighter to darker, unless it's a background, but in these, usually I go lighter to darker. So I start with a lighter kind of grayish browns that you would associate with mushrooms. And um, now I, I took a light green and I'm working on uh, the leaves there. I'm leaving a little bit of white for the highlight, as you can see. But I'm basing them with this lighter kind of uh, beigey, uh, muted tone green. And going into a bit of a darker, so I'm lighter to darker. I'm adding now on top of that. Um, a bit of a darker green, and then I'll go even darker. There you go. And they're all kind of like a muted, muted colors. I really love the variety of colors in the Ohuhu uh, alcohol marker set. Now I'm doing the other green, uh, the other leaves, and it looks like I'm trying to leave a highlight in the center of like the two centers. I'm trying to make it look like it's bumpy. Um, so the shadow is in the center and at the edges and then the top of the leaf is where the highlight is. That, that's the, the highest part of the leaf like. So the, the part that's more towards us, if that makes sense. I hope I'm explaining myself. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going from lighter to darker and I'm adding a bit of a darker green on top of that. And I will add a pencil as well. Yeah, let me know about the speed of this um, color with me. Is it too fast? Um, is it too slow? I think it might be a little too fast. I don't know. Or is it a good speed? Let me know what you guys think. Right now, I'm just using pencil to kind of add smooth out the edges there and add a little bit more so it won't look so choppy like uh, the transition between the colors and um, just smoothing it out making it look you know a little bit better
Yeah, one of the reasons I was able to uh, do this color with me, I can really only do them on simple pages that don't take too, too long. Just because of um, uploading and also I don't like to work on very complicated pages really all at once. I like to kind of spread it out because I get bored with page with a page. So this is like perfect. These these kind of coloring books, this one's generous scene, is perfect for just a quick coloring. Um, you know, it's not that quick, but it's, it doesn't take like forever. And basing with alcohol marker is so amazing. It just speeds things up so much. Right now I decided to work on those flowers and I'm making them purple. So I'm starting with my a light, like a nice light lavender, and then I'm going to go gradually darker. And I don't even think I needed to put pencil on those uh, flowers because I had so, I had enough color variation and it didn't look too choppy. So um, you could see how I'm going on top of the lighter and then I'll go on, on top of that with a little bit of a darker uh, purple. Oh, I guess I am deciding, okay. So I am gonna take a little bit of my uh, pinks from the Caran Dash Super Colors, which you can use. They're watercolor pencils, but you can use them dry. And I often do, they're sitting right on my desk, so I grab for them, I grab for them pretty often. So I am going with a little bit of pencil, a little making it a little darker, and then I added a little pink for the top there, just to give it a little bit more of a, a nicer finish. Now I'm taking some pencil, again, the super colors, adding a little darkness to those leaves with a pencil. Look how quick that is, it's like so easy, just a little bit there. Gives it so much more when you add that darkness, you know? And now I think I'm gonna take my white uh, acrylic paint pen by Artistro and um, just cover the, the lines there on the top of the flowers just to give them a little bit, make them look even better. And a little bit of um, purple gel pen to hide the lines on the bottom. And now I'm working on those leaves and I'm using a pretty bright lime green, looks like. And using some, some different greens there, going in now with a little bit of a darker, wherever the shade is, wherever there's a little bit of a shadow. And now I'm taking some pencil and smoothing, smoothing that out. And I think you can see it's like a blue pencil. Now with a little bit of aqua. I think that's actually a Brut Fooner Macaron. Now I'm using my Ohuhu uh, acrylic paint pens to cover those lines. And yeah, those acrylic paint pens are like amazing. <laughs> Now I'm using a, a different acrylic paint pen. Also, those are really good. Um, just a random brand from like Amazon. And I chose a dark brown for the stems so that they could like stand out because there's a lot of green already in the picture. And I'm getting started on the tops of the mushrooms a little bit on at least those two. I'm gonna use the same colors for these two that'll save time and then I'll do other colors for the other mushrooms. So lighter to darker, uh, peachy, I'm using some peaches then some browns and now I'm taking my pencil and adding a lot of shading there. Um, looks like I reached for some Prisma colors. Never know what you're gonna reach for, it's always whatever is on my desk. <laughs> And I didn't film this all in one sitting, you know, I just kind of, whenever I worked on it, I would film it, but it's not all in one sitting, just so you know. And I'm choosing a, looks like another peachy color for the base of those mushrooms. And I'm going to go darker, I'm going to make them a little bit more red. So peach is a great uh, color for the lighter part of, of a red, just so you know. And 
taking some shading, uh, some black pencil to add shading. And look what a look what a difference the the shading makes makes such a difference. And I'm smoothing out uh, the marker, the choppiness of the marker there with some pencil on top. And the marker just speeds things up because it adds like so much color without uh, too much work. So the pencil is much less work um, once you have that alcohol marker base. You can see I'm building it up with the reds there and the peaches. Now I'm taking a little bit of a black and going under the spots. That's a little trick to make them pop. And a little bit of a paint pen to do the highlight there to cover the black line uh, where the highlight would be on the mushroom. Now I'm taking one of my Calero watercolors and uh, painting the little spots on the mushroom. And then going back with my trusty black Prisma color to, it might be even a dark gray, I'm not sure. It's either black or really, really dark gray. And some browns, the um, cool tone brown kind of thing that would match the uh, grayish brown of the mushrooms. I recently got a bunch of grays. I didn't have all the grays in my Prismacolor set, but um, I forgot to show them in a haul. But yeah, I recently completed my Prismacolor set with a bunch of grays that I didn't have. So I've been, I've been using them a lot, actually. Coming in handy. Uh, again, with the I'm using one of my uh, paint pens to cover the black line on the top where the highlight is. And now I'm using like an aqua type of green to differentiate these blades of grass from the one from the grass background behind them. So I try to use different colors so that we can differentiate the different elements. And it's nice because the the Ohuhu sets have so many greens, so. I love that. And yeah, going from lighter to darker again, as you could see, basing with the lighter, then I'm adding uh, the next level up and the next darker and the next darker green. And that, and then after that, smoothing with a uh, pencil. That's usually how it goes. And I will cover the lines here with another uh, acrylic paint pen. So you're going to see that in a second. That's adding the shading, smoothing out some of the color with a pencil. And here is the alcohol marker, uh, excuse me, the paint pen to cover the lines. And that really, look how much that adds. It really um, kind of brings it to the next level. And these are just cheap ones from Amazon. I don't know. They just have been lasting for a long time. I love them. Um, yeah, I like the color of that too. It's like a light blue. Now I'm making these kind of um, pom-pom flowers. I don't know what they are. In a yellow color. And I am using one of my yellow paint pens to cover the lines again. So I don't know what those are called, but they're really cute. <laughs> and again, a dark stem to kind of differentiate. I had to continue the stem because it wasn't part of the picture. That's why you saw my palette there. I just needed something straight to do the edge. Now I'm working on the last leaf there, and I'm using a neutral kind of muted tone green again. And I'm going from lighter to darker, adding slowly of a darker greens. And I'm doing it in the center of the leaves. Now I took a brownie ready, uh, like a reddish super color uh, pencil, Karen Dash, to add a little maroony brownie on the edges of the leaves to kind of give it some interest and make it look even cooler. So I really like the look of that, of adding maroon or like brown to, to the leaves. Because you can see that in nature very often. So I love the look of that. And I'm adding a little bit of uh, mustardy there, color there. Okay, so now I'm going back to the mushrooms. I need to add um, a little darkness, the, the bottoms of the mushrooms, the underside. 
And I am using my Caran d'Ache Super Colors again. They have a lot of nice uh, grayish browns. So it's perfect for mushrooms. But I want you to notice that I am using Jen, the, in the illustrator, Jen Racine, her hatch marks there. It, she's kind of telling us where the shading is supposed to go in the mushroom. So I'm using her guideline and that's where I'm putting my shading. So that's another, some illustrators will do that for you. It's pretty cool. And um, I thought I was done and I did a wave, but oh, I'm not done yet. So I've decided to take my, uh, what is it called? The um, color shift, folk art color shift paint, craft paint. The uh, gold flash, this one's called, has like a black with like gold in it. It's really beautiful. And it's perfect to make like a background pop. So I just felt like it needed a little something extra. You know, I could have left it white, but... I feel like this brings it to the next level. Now I'm using some green to smooth out the background grass and I'm just using my Caran d'Ache Super Color Softs again. Um, and I am gonna do also with my Super Color Softs again, smooth out the, uh, the background blue, the, the, grady, the gradient of the blue because I felt like it needed a little bit more smoothing so that's what I am doing right there. And I feel like these have a little more pigment than the poly colors. Now I'm taking stickles and adding a border just to give it that extra something. And I really am liking how it looks. So that is the final uh, product. I'm just going to go kind of slow so you can see it. Let me go out a bit there. So yeah, Oops, sorry, my camera is a little bit crooked. There we go. That is the final page. And um, yeah, I love how it came out. What do you guys think about the background? Was it a good idea, bad idea? <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. I like it because I feel like this pops more with something dark, like a dark background. And um, I really like gold and this is like black with gold. So it's even better than black. I think black would be a little bit boring, but I could have done black as well. I mean, black is always a good go-to, but um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the color with me and let me know about the speed. Was it too fast? Was it too slow? What do you guys think? And um, I hope you enjoy your coloring this month. And thank you so much for watching and for all your kind comments. I read every comment. I love it. And then just sometimes it takes me a while to get back to you guys, but I do read everything and I love it so much. So have a wonderful coloring month. Enjoy your coloring this month and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.